It was a sunny day, but the climate was enjoyable. Everyone in the railway station was waiting for the train to arrive. Among the crowd, there was a group of friends, youngsters, who were on board for vacation. It was a busy station with a juice shop, mobile restaurants, coffee and tea stalls, newspaper shops, restaurants, and more. The announcement regarding the arrival of the train was made, and everyone prepared to get into the train to get to their appropriate places. The group of friends made loud noise to welcome the train as it entered the station. They ran to get their reserved seats before anyone could get into the train. The empty seats were filled, and the train whistled to move. An old man with a young boy, aged fifteen, came running to catch the train. They entered the train, and the train started to move. They had their seats just adjacent to the friends group. The young boy was so surprised to see everything. He exclaimed to his father, "Dad, the train is moving, and things are moving backwards." His father smiled and nodded his head. As the train started moving fast, the young boy again screamed, "Dad, the trees are green in color and run backwards very fast." His father said, "Yes, dear," and smiled. Just like a kid, he was watching everything with great enthusiasm and happiness, loaded with tons of surprises. A fruit seller passed, selling apples and oranges. The young boy asked his dad, "May I eat apples?" His father bought him apples. He said, "Oh, apples look sweeter than they taste. I love this color." The group was watching all the activities of this boy and asked the boy's father, "Is your son having any problem? Why is he behaving so differently?" A friend from the group made fun of him and shouted, "His son is mad, I think." The father of the boy, with patience, replied to the group of youngsters. My son was born blind. Only a few days before he was operated on and got his vision back, he is seeing various things in his life for the very first time. The youngsters became very quiet and apologized sincerely to the father and the son. Moral: Think before you speak.